portal has opened, and in just minutes, you can be taken to a world of riches and untold treasure. These newfound opportunities do not come in the way of gold bars, and are instead granted by our very own leaders. Regardless, take the few minutes and watch this video for all the information you need from the recent legal trouble the Biden-Harris administration faces, including threats to cancel the debt relief program. Stick around until the end to hear how it will affect you and for your next steps to get this $20,000. Okay, quick review. The Student Debt Relief Program provides eligible borrowers with the ability to discharge all or a portion of their federally held student loan debt. Borrowers who qualify with full eligibility will receive $20,000 in forgiveness and those with partial eligibility will receive receive $10,000. The distinction between the two award amounts comes in way of whether you have received a Pell Grant or not, which most likely would have occurred if you applied for federal student aid through FAFSA and had a reported income around $60,000 or less. To qualify for student loan debt relief at all, you must have had an adjusted gross annual income as an individual of less than $125,000 or less than $250,000 for families in 2020 or 2021. Since the plan was announced by the Biden-Harris administration, they have maintained their position that it is legal, justifying the policy under a 2003 law authorizing the Secretary of Education to alleviate the hardship that federal student loan recipients may suffer as a result of national emergencies. If you would like more information on this, there is a link in the description to the Justice Department's August 23rd memo explaining the legal justification the White House has in forgiving this debt. Simply put, the current administration claims they are justified as a result of the Higher Education Relief Opportunities for Students Act of 2003 commonly referred to as the HEROES Act, and previously invoked by the Trump administration to begin the payment pause on federal student loans at the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Recently, however, six GOP-led states, including Nebraska, Iowa, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, and South Carolina, filed a lawsuit stating the administration has overstepped its authority by creating the forgiveness program without going through Congress, as they claim the plan will threaten the revenue of state entities which profit from federal student loans due to many commercial FFEL borrowers consolidating their loans into direct loans to qualify for relief, reducing the amount of interest income earned by the state. Hours before this case was filed, however, the Biden administration scaled back eligibility for the debt relief program, saying commercial FFEL borrowers could no longer consolidate to qualify for the one-time relief, undercutting the state's claims. As a result of this, last Thursday, October 20th, U.S. District Judge Henry E. Autry of the Eastern District of Missouri ruled on the matter, denying the bid to block the Biden administration from moving forward with the student debt relief plan specifying, while plaintiffs present important and significant challenges to the debt relief plan, the current plaintiffs are unable to proceed to the resolution of these challenges, as they lack the standing to stop one of the administration's signature economic policies. I'll link the lawsuit in the description below if you'd like to read it over. Don't forget to like the video while you're down there. The following day, Friday, October 21st, the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals issued a temporary order which prohibits the Biden administration from discharging any student loan debt until the court can make a ruling on the emergency request set forth by the aforementioned GOP states. Hopefully this will be an expedited process and briefs were recently due from each side this past Monday and Tuesday. So what does this actually mean for you and should you still be optimistic that you'll receive student loan debt relief? You can still apply for student loan debt relief on studentaid.gov which you can get to by either googling student loan debt relief application or clicking the link in the description. First off you must apply no later than December 31st 2023. You will need to enter some brief information about yourself or the borrower you are applying for, such as first and last name, social security number, date of birth, and your contact information. You will then attest to the following three statements. The whole process only takes a couple of minutes. Additionally, the Department of Education already has income information for more than 8 million borrowers, but if they do not have yours, they will be reaching out to you and requesting additional information, so keep an eye on your email for that. I was going to upload this video this past Friday, but I decided to hold off because I really thought the courts were going to make a decision by the end of the week. Obviously, they have not, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified when the update video regarding their decision finally comes out. Like the video and leave any comments down below. As always, I'm Patrick Zimmerman. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.